Hey guys, Lively here. I create and maintain a mod list for Fallout 4 called Magnum Opus. You guys voted for a video about new companions, so your wish is my command. Here's where to find most of the new custom followers in Magnum Opus. Number 1. Heather Kasdan. Created and voiced by the wonderful Llama RCA, Heather Kasdan is arguably the best Fallout 4 companion mod to date, and I'd say it'll hold that title forever. She can be found by either tuning into her radio station, Kasdan Caravan Radio, or by simply approaching her near Wildwood Cemetery. Heather is an extraordinary companion for many reasons. Although she is introduced to you as a pro-Brotherhood of Steel synth hater, her feelings toward the various factions will change dynamically based on your choices throughout the main quest. If you side with the Brotherhood, for instance, her resolve will be strengthened, whereas if you decide to join the Railroad or Institute, she will learn to accept your philosophy and develop a sense of sympathy for the wayward, replicated people. Heather also has a great deal of unique dialogues for an ungodly amount of situations, to the point where I'm still hearing lines I've never heard before. Llama's thoroughness is truly astounding in this regard. Number 2. Ellen the Cartographer You can find Ellen in the Dugout Inn, just to the left of the entrance. Voiced by Potastic Panda, who you may also know from creating Recorder in Skyrim, Ellen is an intriguing companion with a very engaging questline. As the name might imply, Ellen is determined to map out the Commonwealth and requests your help, and the help of your Pip-Boy, to do so. Number 3. Audrey the first of three custom companions added by Tales from the Commonwealth, Audrey can be found at the third rail in Good Neighbor. Audrey is one of my personal favorite companions in Magnum Opus. Her wit is biting, her quest is really unique, and integrates dialogue from the Silver Shroud, which I am always on board with, and she can swing a cane like nobody's business. Pick her up and help her track down her family legacy. You won't regret it. Number 4. Birdie Birdie is a peculiar fellow who's roaming around fighting ghouls near Forest Grove Marsh. As the second of the three companions from Tales from the Commonwealth, you can expect a level of quality equal to that of Audrey, so you definitely won't be disappointed in having this guy watch your back. Not only that, but he is a fountain of, let's say, amazing advice, so be sure to talk to him often if you want a little chuckle. Number 5, R404. And finally, the last of the 3D NPC companions, R404. You can find this one at the Railroad HQ whenever you're able to make your way there. But I'll be honest with you, I haven't really used R404 all that much, so maybe pick her up, try her out, and let me know how you like her. Number 6. Logan. Fourville's Logan can be found at the bar just inside Fourville's entrance. A typical loner type at the heart of gold, Logan is interesting enough, albeit a touch stereotypical, but still definitely not a bad choice. He may come off as gruff and distant, but the more you get to know this guy, the more you'll learn it's just a defense mechanism. An all too common one in both the Commonwealth and the real world. Not only that, but alongside Heather Kasdan, he's the only other companion that does not occupy a follower slot, so you can have him alongside another vanilla companion. While this isn't all the possible companions you can get, any others I mentioned would reveal some spoilers for a number of mods, so you'll have to figure those out for yourself. Suffice to say, my video about where to find new quest content for mods in Magnum Opus might help you figure some of them out. As always, thanks for watching, thank you to all my patron donors, and feel free to click that subscribe button for more content like this. Happy modding, and I hope you have a great day!